This morning we're up early and we're going to a flea market. There goes hubby into the coffee shop to pick us up a couple of coffees to go on our way to the flea market. And here comes my silly handsome guy now. <laughs> Thank you honey. The guy said, where's, where's your bride? I said, out in the car playing with her iPad. <laughs> and you were right. He, said, he, says, he says, that's addictive. I said, so is coffee. <laughs> You're right. Well, we just arrived at the flea market, and there's quite a few people here. This thing is spread out over a bit of land, so it's hard to see everything at one time, but there are food trucks and tools and clothing and all kinds of good stuff to look at. You'll see in the end the things that I bought, but these will look familiar. These are mangoes. Oh my, I really like this picture, but I'm going to resist. Now on this table I saw something that caught my eye. This retro, well it's not retro, it's true vintage, triple decker food carrier. And it had different levels to carry food and it had this uh, print that looked like it was from the 1960s on it. And it looked like it had never been used, it still had a label on top. I think it really was worth something and I asked the guy what he wanted for it and he said $20. I think it was worth that. but. I'm thinking it would just sit around my house. I'd never use it and it'd be more stuff that I'd have I didn't need, but I liked it. They wanted $10 for this cool print that I thought would look really nice in a bathroom, but I just didn't want to pull the trigger on it. After the flea market, we stopped for breakfast here. We had never been here before. It was recently opened. And I got a bacon, egg, and cheese croissant and Mick got a everything bagel and they had lots of cakes and cookies and all kinds of bakery stuff and it smelled divine in there. And now I'll show you what I did get at the flea market. I first went to one of the fruit and vegetable tables and they were selling mangoes. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mangoes for five dollars. Now the good thing was they let me pick and choose which ones I wanted and trade them off and on. They came in a box and they let me switch them out. So I got some that were firm and some that were very ripe and so I'll be able to use them at different times. That's good. So I'll be able to make smoothies with them or slice them into salads. They'll be really good. And I also got this game of Rook for a dollar. I like to collect games so when the kids come over maybe we can have a game night. And I got a tripod, two dollars. It's marked on here from Kmart at uh, $29.97. And I don't think the thing has ever been used. Now when I first picked it up I thought it was all plastic, but now that I'm looking at it, and it's still in its wrapper, these legs are not plastic. These legs are metal, maybe aluminum. So it's better than I thought it was going to be. And they are telescoping. So the legs have uh, two levels of length on them that you can open and shut and adjust the height. Let's see if I can figure out how these work. Yeah, you just unclip them, two different levels. Yep, close them back up. 
And then this middle neck part should go up and down if I can figure out how it works. It's different than my other one, which just unscrews there. That isn't happening. How does this thing work? What's this for? Ah, there it goes. Okay, you wind it up. You wind it down like you're going fishing. <laughs> right, it's not as tall as my other one. And it's got the swivel and the tilt and the clampy thing to hold the camera nice and tight. So yeah, I think this was a great deal for $2. And if I ever get another camera going, I'll be able to have two shot, two camera shots. And that would be great to have another tripod. So I'm really happy with this. Oh, I don't know if I can get it back in the box very quickly. So I'm just going to set it over here and keep going. So next I have... A cookie press. I think my mom had this exact same cookie press, but this one looks brand new. It hardly looks like, yeah, it doesn't even look like it's ever been used. And it screws together really well. No problem with the threads on it. It comes with this tip, and then in the box, there's a bunch of more tips and a bunch of discs. Just like my mom had, all these different cookie shapes and Christmas things, and it comes with the uh, instruction booklet. $2. I thought that was an excellent deal for $2 when I've been wanting a cookie press. Okay, and what else I have are these dishes. Now, I have these Homer Lachlan dogwood dishes, a set of them, and I was a little short on bowls, and here were two bowls from my set, and they were 50 cents each. Can't argue with that, so I think I did really well finding a few things here and there that I could use in my house. Now another thing I got at the Goodwill was this very cute pillow. Look at all the work in that. This is beaded work. And I don't know if this is a brushed cotton or what. It feels velouri, but it's, it's a very nice fabric. It's got seeded pearl beads here and then blue and sequins all in the bellies of the birds. There's three birds in a bush and it's got a beautiful border with different colored beads around it. I thought that was a really nice pillow and they only wanted $2.50 for it. So what I did was I removed the cover and it had a beautiful pillow underneath. Doesn't look too old, so this isn't vintage or anything. Uh, it is a feather pillow. There are feathers in this pillow. <laughs> so if you're allergic to feathers, that wouldn't be good. So what I did is I surface cleaned it and then I put it in a very hot dryer to kind of disinfect it as best I could. And then I took tape and ran it all over it for any pills or lint or things like that that were on it. So that's how I treated the pillow portion. And for the pillow top, I just filled the sink and I hand washed it in the sink with a mild detergent and air dried it. So that's all set to go. Now, I did discover when I unzipped it that it did unzip, but then the um, tab on the zipper came off, and it was not going to go back on. So I'm going to have to replace the zipper, but I know how to do that. I might even do it in this video. Um, so that has to be replaced, and the only other damage I saw, and it's extremely minor, is that right here on this leaf, it doesn't quite complete with the beads. See, there's a little piece missing right there. That is it. It's in really good shape. So I was very happy with this pillow for $2.50. If you went into the mall, into a decorative store, to buy this feather pillow, you'd spend at least $25 on it, don't you think? Well, maybe you wouldn't, but that's what they would ask for it. I wouldn't spend it either. But I was very pleased with that. So yay for the Goodwill and flea markets. I was so very tempted to buy this very cute retro Singer sewing box made out of metal when I was at the Goodwill. I think they wanted $12 for it and I just couldn't bring myself to pull the trigger so I left it behind.